kira. My dear Tetsuoi, my dear Sakara Malika, on this day your names will be changed to Srila Rupa and Srila Sanatana. Now please abandon your humility, for my heart is breaking to see you so humble. 209, you have written several letters showing your humility. I can understand your behavior from those letters. 210, by your letters, I can understand your heart. Therefore, in order to teach you, I sent you one verse which reads as follows. 211, if a woman is attached to a man other than her husband, she will appear very busy in carrying out her household affairs, but within her heart, she's always relishing feelings of association with her paramour. 212, I really had no business in coming to Bengal, but I have come just to see you two brothers. 213, everyone is asking why I have come to this village of Ramakeli. No one knows my intentions. 214, it is very good that you two brothers have come to see me. Now you can go home. Do not fear anything. 215, birth after birth, you have been my eternal servants. I am sure that Krishna will deliver you very soon. 216, the Lord then placed his two hands on the heads of both of them. And in return, they immediately placed the lotus feet of the Lord on their heads. 217. After this, the Lord embraced both of them and requested all the devotees present to be merciful upon them and deliver them. 218. When all the devotees saw the mercy of the Lord upon their two brothers, they were very much gladdened. They began to chant the holy names of the Lord. Hari Hari. 219. All the Vaishnava associates of the Lord were present, including Nityananda Prabhu, Hari Das Thakur, Srivas Thakur, Gadadar Pandit, Mukunda, Jagananda, Murari, and Vakreshwara. 220. In accordance with the instructions of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the two brothers, Rupa and Sanata, immediately touched the lotus feet of these Vaishnavas, who all became very happy and congratulated the two brothers for having received the mercy of the Lord. 221. After begging the permission of the Vaishnavas present, the two brothers, at the time of their departure, humbly submitted something at the lotus feet of the Lord. 222. They said, Dear Lord, although the king of Bengal, Nawab Hussein Shah, is very respectful, respectful toward you, you have no other business here. Kindly depart from this place. 223. Although the king is respectful toward you, he still belongs to the Yavana class and should not be believed. We think that there is no need for such a great crowd to accompany you on your pilgrimage to Vrindavan. 224, dear Lord, you are going to Vrindavan with hundreds and thousands of people following you and this is not a fitting way to go on a pilgrimage. 225, although Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was Sri Krishna himself, the Supreme Lord and was therefore not at all fearful, he still acted like a human being to teach neophytes how to act. 226, having spoken thus, the two brothers offered prayers to the lotus feet of the Lord and returned to their homes. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then desired to leave that village, 227. In the morning, the Lord left and went to a place known as Kanai Natasala. While there, he saw many pastimes of Lord Krishna, 228. That night, the Lord considered Sanatha Goswami's proposal that he should not go to Vrindavan, followed by so many people. In 229, the Lord thought, if I go to Mathura with such crowds behind me, it would not be a very happy situation for the atmosphere would be disturbed. 230, the Lord concluded that he would go alone to Vrindavan or at most would take only one person as his companion. In that way, going to Vrindavan would be very pleasant. 231. Thinking like this, the Lord took his morning bath in the Ganges and started on Nilakala, saying, I shall go there. 232. Walking and walking, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu arrived at Santipur and remained at the house of Advaita Acharya for five to seven days. 233. Taking this opportunity, Sri Advaita Acharya Prabhu sent for Mother Satchadevi and she remained at his house for seven days to prepare the meals for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 234. Taking permission from his mother, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then started for Jagannath Puri. When the devotees followed him, he humbly begged them to remain and bade them all farewell. 
235. And pause that flow. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, thank, thank you so much, Flo. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go back to here. 208. Uh, so we are in the section where Lord Chaitanya was trying to go to Vrindavan, another attempt to go to Vrindavan. And at that time, he stopped at a place called Ramakeli. That happens to be a place where Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami were serving a Muslim king uh, with the names of Dabir, Kasa and Sakara Malika. And the Muslim king name we heard was uh, Muslim king name we heard was uh, uh, Nawab Hussain Shah. So that is the context where we are in. And uh, Dabir, Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami, that time Dabir, Kasa and Sakara Malika uh, they came to meet Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at the night time when nobody is seeing like that. And they expressed uh, humble prayers, very, very humble prayers, telling that how they are the most fallen people. They're even fallen even below Jagai and Madai because Jagai and Madai were Brahmanas, but they never took uh, occupation to work under somebody. Whereas even though Rupa Goswami and Goswami were a Brahmana family, they took up occupation under Muslim king and then they were um, uh, they were even practicing Muslim kind of cultural things and like that they were describing. Of course, they did it at a particular reason, for a particular reason, because the king said, if you don't join me, then I will hurt all the Vaishnavas like that. They're not sharing that portion, but they're still saying, anyway, for whatever reason, we are serving Muslim. Who's, you know, that means... Yavanas and Malachas, they describe. That means who are people who are not practicing Vedic culture like that, Vedic traditions, Vedic culture like that. So they told like that, that's why we are fallen than Jagan Madai, and you are the most merciful. You will, For you to exhibit your mercy, you will not see anyone lower than this. Please deliver us like that. That is what they, uh, they were praying. That is the context we were in last session. Now text 28, uh, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is responding back to them. Uh, 208. Let me see. 207. Yeah, correct. 207 also. I like that only. 207 was, let me go back. 207 was, Lord Chaitanya is saying, you two brothers are my old servants. That means they are devotees only. So now he says, from this day, Lord Chaitanya gave them names, Rupa Goswami, Rupa and Sanatana like that. And he's interestingly see, Lord Chaitanya is personally saying, now please abandon your humility for my heart is breaking to see you so humble. See, that is the amount of humility they had. <laughs> that uh, It's actually uh, sometimes even for us practicing devotees, when somebody is so humble, it's so hard to be in their presence. Uh, and sometimes we are, sometimes when we are, when we are not purified enough, we might even feel envious of somebody who is very humble also. That is one thing. But then, uh, better than that is we feel, wow, how can they be so humble like that? We'll feel like that. So that's what is here. We can see the, how humble Rupa and Sanatana was, were there like that. Mm, yeah. And then this purport is nice because Rupa addresses uh, some common mispractices with this purport also. Meaning, he's saying that is important that when initiation happens, name change also should happen. That's one point he makes. Why is he making that point? He's telling in the purport that some Sahajiya Sampradayas, that means they're not authorized, they got deviated from proper Sampradaya, they say that we don't need to give name like that. Prabhupada is saying such people are not, um, will continue to remain in bodily conception like that. So it's important to change the name at the initiation time. That's one point. Second point is, uh, it's important for us to put Tilaka every day. Udva Pundra, it's called. Uh, especially on the forehead, Prabhupada is saying. Of course, as practicing devotees, we try to keep our Tilaka at 12 parts of the body, start along with the forehead, like that. We practice, but initially, it might feel difficult for some, some of us. Then we can start with at least the forehead. But all the initiated devotees, they do it all 12 places at least for sure. And then others also try to practice to come to that stage of uh, keeping Tilaka 12 places of the body like that. So that's important. Prabhupada is actually talking about lower standard here. Simple. 
which is at least on the forehead have tilaka like that. In fact, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, used to teach Navadip area for small students, Sanskrit grammar. So if somebody comes without tilak, he would not want to see them. He would say, that means you did not worship Krishna today. Because if you thought Tilak, how can you worship Krishna? That means you didn't worship Krishna today like that. He didn't want to see. He wanted to, uh, he was encouraging them to wear Tilak like that. So, yeah, there's are the other points that are mentioned in the purport. Now, 209, uh, Lord Chitan is saying, you wrote so many letters. And from that, I understood your humility from that letters like that. Uh, so I understood your heart like that. So that in order to teach you, I sent only one verse. What is that verse? If a woman is attached to a man other than her husband, that means a woman has a lover outside the marriage life, then she will appear very busy in carrying out her household affairs. That means she will be doing so pakka, perfectly, all the things that they need to do in the home like that. But within the heart, she's always relishing the association feelings with her paramour like that. This is what he sent him, verse it seems, for them in response to their humble messages. What messages they were sending that we want to associate with you, we want to come and meet you like that. So Lord Chaitanya is saying, given a, depending upon circumstance, we act as if we are fully involved in the activities, material activities. But internally we are cultivating that eagerness to associate with Krishna, eagerness to associate with devotees, eagerness to, eagerness to hear Krishna Kata like that. That's what is implied through this verse now for us. Now, here he says, I actually, I did not have any business to come into Bengal. I came only to see you two brothers. Because from where Lord Chaitanya was there, from Jagannath Puri, in order to go to Vrindavan, the path, if you look at the geographical map, it doesn't go through Ramkele, it seems. But still, he came to Ramkele because he wanted to meet Rupa and Sanatana like that. He saying, is another important thing. Everyone is asking why I have come. No one knows my intentions, he's saying. It's important because sometimes we think by looking at how a devotee is behaving, how a devotee is looking, we can say, wow, we know what exactly is thinking, like that we'll think. But that's not true. Devotee's intentions, we cannot guess. And it's not good to guess also. So that speculation is not good also. Especially... Super, super Vaishnavas like uh, special masters, pure devotees, definitely not. Uh, for uh, mixed devotees, we may be able to guess something, but then it is not good, healthy also. So that's what we can learn from this verse. Now he's saying, it's very good that you came to see me. Now you can go home. Do not fear anything. That means you will get a, so my association soon like that. And he says, but after but you are my eternal servants. And Krishna will deliver you very soon. That is the do not fear message he is telling. That uh, you will deliver, Krishna will deliver you for sure like that. Then he placed, Lord Chaitanya placed his heads to bless them on both of their heads it seems. And then they were not satisfied with just having his hand on their heads. They took Lord Chaitanya's lotus feet and kept it on their heads it seems. See that is a humble nature and they grabbed the opportunity for the mercy like that. No. Yeah, sorry. The, the Lord embraced both of them. And then, see, this is important. Another. He requested all the devotees present there to be merciful to them and to deliver them also. This is a common uh, theme we see in Chaitanya Chaitanya. When Nityananda Prabhu gives his mercy to Raghunath Das Goswami also, he tells all the devotees there to give their mercy also and blessings like that. So here Lord Chaitanya is requesting all the devotees to give their mercy and blessings. So now 217, to, yeah. now 218, uh, when all the devotees saw the mercy of the Lord upon these two brothers, Rupa and Santa Goswami, they were very much gladdened and they began to chant the holy name of the Lord, Hari Hari, like that. So this is also a beautiful purport. Basically, when, when one of us, one among us is getting initiated, one among us is growing, one among us is getting special blessings, so we should feel very happy and joyful for them. So that is a real Vaishnava quality. But if you feel jealous, envious about them, then we are not really Vaishnavas. We are just mundane people. Like that Prabhupada is writing in the purport. So when we feel jealousy and enviousness for somebody when they're, when they're getting special mercy or when they're growing in devotion service, then we need to 
and understand ourselves oh i have this uh, negative quality then we need to pray to krishna and our spiritual master my dear krishna and spiritual master i notice that i have this jealous quality please help me to overcome it somehow like that we need to think we need to pray uh, to krishna and practically make steps how do we make practical steps to move out of jealousy and enviousness we understand unlike material life spiritual life there is no scarcity of anything blessings are not scarce krishna's mercy is not scarce so all of us can get equal mercy no problems whereas in material world if there are only five seats in the car only five people can sit in the car that means we need to go run fast to get to the car but here in since spiritual uh, spiritual life krishna is unlimited he can reciprocate with each of us unlimitedly spiritual master can reciprocate with each of us unlimitedly uh, so that is why we don't need to be envious of others in fact when others are growing nicely we can take their association we can be happy that we'll get their association we'll get their inspiring example to follow like that that is one lesson we can take from here now text 2219 so nitend who are the other vaishnavas who were present there at that time of initiation of rupa goswami sanatan goswami nityananda prabhu was there haridas thakur was there srivas thakur gadadhar pandita mukunda jagadananda murari vakreshwara we'll hear more about this personalities again also we heard some already in adilila we'll hear more past times coming up because this section is a summary of the whole madhyalila and ante antelila that is this section we are in right now this is the summary of madhyalila where we are in in the first chapter so so those are the other devotees who were present it seems and then um, so the, what did they do rupa goswami sanatan goswami when lord chitane asked everybody to bless him bless them so they immediately touched all the vaishnavas lotus feet it seems they paid obeisances and touched the lotus feet and then the vaishnavas all became very happy and they congratulated them on their initiation uh, having received the mercy of lord like that so propas also writes in this in this paragraph also in this purport also that if somebody is not joyful when others receive the mercy other devotee gives mercy then they are kalichela that means they are disciples of kaliyuga like that so they are not real vaishnavas like that propas is Uh, criticizing here in the purport telling us in the purport now 221 now they all they all took the permission of vaishnavas uh, present there to go and then before leaving they submitted one request to lord chaitanya what is the request they said even though nabudjan shab is very nice right now is very respectful towards you in fact in the previous verses we saw nabudjan shab was saying he must be supreme lord himself like that but really you don't have any business here kindly go away from the here why they saying because that actually next verse is saying although king is respectable towards you he still belongs to yavana class yavana class means someone who doesn't follow vedic traditions so uh, and should not be believed uh, and we think that there's no need for such a great count crowd to accompany you on your pilgrimage to vindavan so two points coming up in this verse one is such a uh, person who is addicted to sense gratification who doesn't follow any vedic culture who doesn't have any intention to please krishna we don't know what they will do at any time so that's why they're saying that uh, you go away from here it's dangerous to be here near the king's place like that second thing they're saying is you are you came with so many people are with you as a crowd now is not nice to go to vrindavan with hundreds and thousands of people following you like that that's not a fitting way to go to a pilgrimage place like that they they indicating nicely um so propal say some people try to take lot of people with them to make money of course this is not talking about our um, iskon yatras where they take a lot of devotees to go is not target targeting them their motivation is to benefit all the devotees here propas is writing about um, motivation of some people is to get money like that so that's not the right way to go to pilgrimage they are saying actually propas writes in the purport lord chaitanya uh, went only by himself along with one servant that two devotees requested him to take servant that's why he took he didn't go with a crowd of people to get money or anything like that 
later on when he went. So that's one thing we can learn from here also. So then, although Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was Krishna himself, so that means he is not fearful what will happen to him because of the king. But still, he acted like a human being to teach neophytes how to act its meaning. He didn't say, oh, I'm the Supreme Lord. I can go with thousands of people. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, he didn't say, like, a king cannot do anything with me. I'm Supreme Lord. He showed as an example, personal example, that he followed the example of not going with all the people to Vrindavan. He went, we'll see in the next coming verses that he left that place also like that. Now, text 26. Now, Rupa Goswami and Sanat Goswami offered the prayers at uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lotus feet and they returned back to their home it seems. And uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then decided that he will also leave that village like that. In the morning itself, Lord Chaitanya went and he went to a place called Kanai Narsala it seems, where he saw many pastimes of Lord Krishna. How did he see many pastimes of Lord Krishna? Kanai Narsala means it seems in Bengal, uh, there were many places known as Kanai Narsala in the past it seems. There will be pictures of the Krishna's pastimes, it seems, are kept there. So that's why people can see different pastime pictures like that. Now, in Bengal, now Prabhupada writes, um, in Bengal, there's still places called Harisabha, it seems, which indicates a place where local people gather to chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra and they discuss Krishna Kada, it seems. So now, 228, uh, that night, Lord considered Sanatana Goswami's proposal. What was the proposal? that he should not go to Vindavan, followed by so many people like that. He considered carefully and he thought, if I go to Madhra with such crowds behind me, it will not be a very happy situation for the atmosphere would be disturbed like that he considered. Uh, so now, so he concluded that he would go alone to Vindavan or at most would take only one person as his servant or companion. In that way, Vindavan would be very pleasant, he said. That means he will not disturb Vindavan atmosphere like that. Like that, he thought in the morning he took his bath in Ganges and started for Nilachara. Nilachara means Jagannathpuri, where he was staying. He didn't go to Vrindavan anymore. He went back to Jagannathpuri. Later on, we'll hear how he'll make another attempt to go to Vrindavan like that. So then he kept walking and walking. Oh no, I think we are ended the verse, I think, right? Let me see what verse we are supposed to end today. 234. Okay, good. So, so he's he was starting walking and walking. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu finally arrived at, arrived at Santipura. Santipura is where Advaita Acharya Prabhu resides. So he stayed there for five to seven days, it seems. At that time, Advaita Acharya took the opportunity to inform Lord Chaitanya's mother to come there. Mother Lord Chaitanya's mother's name is Sachi Devi. She came there and she cooked for seven days for Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and felt very happy and satisfied like that. And then last verse for today, uh, Lord Chaitanya finally took permission from his mother and then he went to Jagannathpuri. But the devotees wanted to come with him. He told him, don't, no, no, don't come. Uh, see you. In fact, next verse says that he told them to come in Chaitanya season, like what we are observing now. So you can come for Radhyatra festival in Chaitanya but don't come with me now like that. He encouraged them to stay back basically. That's where we end here. We'll continue tomorrow's session. Yeah. We'll pause here. Sri Chaitanya Chaitanya Ki Jai Krishna Askaraj Goswami Ki Jai Sri Le Prabhupada Ki Jai. Let's offer obeisance devotees. Vancha Kalpatharu Bhesha Kupasindu Bhavacha Paditana Pavanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namunamaha. Thank you so much devotees. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.